Oof. Didn't get any of the cards I needed. <laughs> Yikes. Alright, so then now it comes down to does he have a way to retreat? This video is sponsored by the Pokemon TCG deck building website PokemonCard.io. Are you looking for sealed product and singles? You can find it all on Channel Fireball. Please use my Tailmon affiliate code when checking out to help support my content. Looking for PTGO codes? Photon Store has all the latest sets and promos instantly delivered to your email. You can use Tailmon code when checking out for 5% off. If you're from Europe, Millipods Gaming has a wide array of sealed products, singles, and more. You can use Tailmon code when checking out for 5% off. Card Market is Europe's largest online marketplace for Pokemon cards. Whether you're looking for sealed product or singles, vintage or the latest sets, just follow the link in the description to find what you need. Want to show off your love for Tablemon? Check out my 2021 merch. These new hoodies and shirts are available on Amazon. Click on the link in the description to get yours. Hello everyone and welcome to our first Battle Styles video. We're gonna be starting off with the Rapid Strike or Shifu VMAX, one of the most anticipated cards in the set. 330 HP, good amount. Fighting type to finally get rid of those pesky Picaroms and Eternatus VMAXs. With the attack Gale Thrust, we do 30 damage. And if this Pokemon moves from your bench to the active spot this turn, this attack does 120 more damage. And then GMAX Rapid Flow, you discard all energy from this Pokemon and then this attack does 120 damage to two of your opponent's Pokemon. You don't apply weakness and resistance for benched Pokemon. However, we do have the telescopic sight to increase that damage to the bench by 30 and we also have six seconds and scoop up nets to get that little extra ping and hopefully get some <coughs> nice KOs that way. Now, alongside Urshifu, VMAX, we have our Octillery, a Rapid Strike, or tin, uh, rapid strike Octillery, which with the Rapid Strike Search ability, once during your turn, you may search your deck for a Rapid Strike card. Reveal it and put it into your hand, and then you shuffle your deck, and you can't use more than one Rapid Strike Search ability each turn. That allows you to search for Karina's Focus, right? Draw cards until you have six cards in your hand. Basically, Lily is back, but it's searchable through Octillery, so that should add a lot of consistency to a deck. We can also search for Rapid Strike Energy, which provides two, um, two energy at once, uh, Fighting and Water, which is really crucial for um, Urshifu VMAX's GMAX Rapid Flow Attack. And we can search for the Basic and the VMAX as well. There are other Rapid Strike cards that I chose not to integrate into the deck just yet, but um, they definitely could have potential, like the Stadium and the Tool card. Now, we are playing uh, Martial Arts Dojo so that if we go behind a price card, we can just wait until it turns VMAX takes a KO and then we go Goom with Gale Thrust and KO them that way very easily with the extra damage. Um, we do more than enough with Weakness. We also have Mew to protect our bench from the Mirror Match. We have the Dene and Crobat to help us set up. And since we do play Switches and Bird Keepers to get the maximum damage from Gale Thrust, we are playing a Galarian Seerfetch V as well, so that we can potentially attack with it. Though we only play 6 energy, so I'm not so sure how um, likely that will be. You know, let's jump into a ladder where um, basically no one's going to have the cards just yet, right? So we're not going to be facing against new decks essentially, but <clears throat> we might run into some interesting situations and our opponents will be very, very surprised at seeing or Shifu VMAX already in play. So I'm posting this um, in the middle of the day. I will have another video ready for uh, for you with the other or Shifu VMAX over on the channel. All right, and, and um, later today, and we're gonna have our double daily videos. We're not gonna have expanded content for a little bit whilst I cover all the new cards from the battle styles sets. All right, um, this is pretty cool. We're up against a Cinchino. So I'm gonna put back the Octillery, right? And I'm gonna establish the Urshifu V. And then I'm gonna go ahead and quick pull away the Reset Stamp. And we're gonna establish the Rim Raid, right? So now we can start searching for cards. I'm gonna play the Stadium. I'm not gonna switch. I'm just gonna go ahead and Dead change. 
So we do find energy, we also find uh, Karina and Marnie, so this is looking pretty alright, I would say. Looking pretty alright. We shall see what we're up against. We might be up against a control deck. Um, it seems like we are up against a control deck indeed. So that's gonna be super annoying, but if they don't have Mew, then the, the G-Max blow could actually be pretty problematic for them. Um, could be pretty problematic for them. We'll see. Yeah, we shall see. They're playing level ball now, which is now legal. That definitely increases um, Minchino's and Sinchino's potential, right? It's much easier now to set up a Sinchino. And let me do something really quickly here. I'm pretty sure you can't hear the fan. Like, I have it turned um, off. I mean, I have it. Uh, I have that noise suppressed, but it's really warm. But I'm pretty sure you could hear the <laughs> the thing. Anyways, <clears throat> all right. So we do play a lot of switching cards, so that's gonna be pretty important for us. Not happy that I'm Marnie, my opponent right here, or essentially helping them out. Um, they also took away my um, my stadium. This is you may switch. I do have Bird Keeper for next turn. I feel like I'm not going to switch. I'm just gonna strafe here, right? Really unlucky that we're up against the control deck immediately. Right? I would love to see your Shifu be go up against the big people, but hey. Uh, they do play the Mew, so that's not ideal. It's definitely not ideal. Um, a state, I mean, a double energy, right? The 100 Furious Blows energy. <clears throat> uh, the energy to actually just go boss kill the Mew would actually be super, super nice. Um, that would actually be super, super nice. I mean, I can still get a KO here. I'm surprised. Well, they did. They can't retreat, actually. All right, so there's our station. Um, I do get a switch, but I definitely don't want to use them just yet. Right? If my opponent hadn't flipped heads, we would be in such a good spot right here. But okay, we got our first KO. I'm not gonna switch. There's no need. Just take my prize card. Another switch. If I could like switch between or Shifu, then that'd be great. Um, I do get confused, but now like I have the ability to evolve, right? So that's nice. Uh, I mean, you will always struggle against these sort of decks, I feel. Alright. Flip Tails. This is not looking great so far, though. Like, attacking into dolls is just really awful. Um, but we're just gonna try and strafe. Nope, we hit ourselves. Uh, not much I can really do here, honestly. I just need to be patient. Hope to flip heads at some point. Hope to find energy at some point. Hope to KO that new at some point. <laughs> You don't have space for Munchlax yet, which is nice. Killing the Mew will be pretty important though, for sure. Stadium, super annoying. We do have another Martial Arts Tojo. We do have a third one available, so that's nice. And my opponent decides to concede for some reason. Okay, um, I'll take it, right? I was considering conceding myself, so <laughs> I will definitely take that. All right, so we didn't really get to see the deck in full-blown action. Let's hope we face off against a big deck and see what we can actually do, right? That's the plan. Because I literally had to prevent myself from playing stuff. Okay, we see a Raichu deck box. <laughs> that could be Pigram, right? That could be Pigram. I feel like with this deck, you do want to go first, so you have a chance to do like a lot of damage on the, on the next turn. Um, decent hand, not the best. 
Karina's focus will get me some cards. Uh, at least this guy is unlikely to get KO'd like immediately. But we'll see though. We shall see. Alright, we're up against Colossal VMAX, so dual of the VMAXs, of the fighting type VMAXs. Their damage output is definitely way lower than mine though at this rate, so that's good. That is definitely good. Alright, so they just pass here. <clears throat> My opponent surprised, apparently. I'm gonna get the REM rate here. Establish the REM rate. And then we're gonna play that. We're gonna attach the energy and we're gonna play Karina's focus, draw four cards. And not bad, right? Not bad. So if I do switch, I would just lose the REM rate, right? To a VMAX. So I'm gonna pass. I mean, I'm not gonna choose to switch. And then next turn I have Bird Keeper. I have Evolve, Bird Keeper, draw three into switch into the big damage, right? How, I feel like, hmm. I feel like I should probably be playing her balloons. Because it's not easy to have two VMAXs set up, right? So I should probably include her balloons into this. I should get some her balloons in this, I would say. I'm gonna make that change afterwards. Okay, so we get bossed. That's fine ish. Except if this guy goes down. All right, how much HP do I have? 60, okay. So, yeah, bro, they have the road on phone. They immediately click, like that means they saw the energy, yeah. They immediately, immediately clicked. Basic? Nope. Uh. All right, so I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this. I have to draw three and then Jeez, dude, come on! <laughs> Quick balls, pokey gums, any other basic, right? They have the boss. They get the. <laughs> um. I mean, can I do anything else? I guess I do extra damage, right? It's a one good thing. Okay, so do I pinch the Dene? No, what am I saying? I'll do that next turn, I guess. We do a little bit of extra damage, but it's just like, I'm foreshotting here. Like that's terrible, that's absolutely terrible. And they're doing 80 plus to 50. They do perfect math thanks to my own stadium. <laughs> <clears throat> they do absolutely perfect math thanks to my own stadium. <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna need you to cooperate a little bit more, deck. I'm gonna need my opponent not to draw perfectly. Right? <laughs> Alright. Wait, oh yeah, never mind. It's not perfect mass, they always have the kill. Okay, so... I can't take a knockout on this. I feel like I, I should just do double damage here, right? So let's Marty, hoping to get stuff out. <laughs> uh, I mean, that's something, I guess. Um... This is not good. It's just like if I bench something else in my opponent, all, all they need is boss for a game, right? But I feel like I need to. Like, this is just a very underwhelming follow up. Extremely underwhelming follow up. Alright, so I'm gonna use G Max Rapid Flow onto this and onto this. Although, KOing this might doesn't seem terrible. No, I'm gonna have to deal with this guy anyways. Well, no, never mind. Yeah, I should KO that. Because then I can maybe just like eventually go boss KO on the Crobat. We'll see. Alright. Uh, 
Should've. I think I'm saving that for the Dene, but could have. I don't know. This is rough. This is rough. Unless they don't actually have an energy, right? Yeah. They have research. So they had turn one boss, turn two research, turn three research. And they got the other two. Nice. Okay, so this guy's as dead as ever, right? And I need the VMAX. I have the energy, I need the VMAX to get a KO. <laughs> um, I should then... <clears throat> I will probably have to dig, right? Alright, so we're gonna do this first, Bird Keeper. Alright. Alright, alright. So I have Knockout, right? I have everything I need for the KO. So then I can save this and establish this other dude. <clears throat> and now I dig for Reset Stamp, right? Now I did a change for Reset Stamp. No reset stamp for Pablo, so that's gonna be game. Probably they need energy and a boss. No reset stamp for Rudy for Pablo. Yeah, promote, attach, boss, or angry GG. Unnecessary buff padding, but I guess, yeah, there's a Mewtwo. Why would you play the buff padding? You're just wasting time. You are literally just wasting time playing the buff padding. All right. I mean, that was close-ish. That was decided by them having the perfect boss on turn one plus uh, winning the console, right? So if either of those two things don't happen, we would have had it. Um, if I draw the reset stamp, that would have also helped just Everything that can go wrong will go wrong. Nice start, nice solid start, right? Nice solid start for sure. Nice solid start for sure. We're gonna be playing against Corviknight. I believe this is, well, I, yeah, I think Omnipoke? Okay? I'm not, actually not sure. Okay. So. <clears throat> Establish their Shifu. We are gonna go Bird Keeper to find energy, right? Which is nice because what we can do is switch out of this to a little bit of chip damage and strafe, right? And probably just bring up this guy, honestly. Like, I'm gonna need a switching guard, anyways, <clears throat> so I can just bring up this guy. Could have brought up the Dene. Um, but the den is always two shot by this, so maybe that matters later on in the in the match. We'll see. There's probably some sort of Bronzong deck, right? Bronzong, Cheryl. So reset stamp late game should be pretty impactful. There's the Bronzor. There is the Bronzor. See another attachment. Poke gear. So already playing against another demo account, we do see two battle styles decks going up against each other, which is nice. Uh, Metal Saucer lost is definitely good. <clears throat> Great Ball fails, and there's a Seishen right there, there's Metal Goggles as well. Yeah, the damage output right here is gonna be a little not. Okay, so they just go for the full Metal Ball, I guess recognizing that uh, the damage reduction is not gonna be super impactful, or the energy removal rather is not gonna be super important here. Okay, so I'm gonna do this. So I have two options now. I could KO the Bronzer with Boss. Well, I can KO that at any point, really, right? So I'm just gonna research. All right, all right, I like this. Um, let's put back the Mew. Definitely don't think I need the Mew. I'll get the Rem Raid. Establish that because I will be needing like my energies later on. We'll bench this and then we're gonna do a ton of damage. Well, I mean, a hundred 
Nah, that's actually not a lot. <laughs> that doesn't even threaten KO next turn on the look metal. Okay, so there's the bronze song. Are they gonna Cheryl? Are they actually... No, they just played ball, so they can't Cheryl. So why would they... Huh? Why would they boss up the Remark? That just makes it easier for me to... Um, that just made it easier for me, technically easier for me to reset the attack, right? Right, so we're probably gonna have to deal with Cheryl. Unless I knock out the Bronzong. And I'm kind of liking knocking out the Bronzong here. This is a really good hand. So we're gonna switch, right? I'm gonna attach this, and then, yeah, I feel like I damaged these guys. And I'm gonna establish the artillery. Right? Establishing artillery is really nice, and then I'm gonna get myself a rapid strike card. I'm kind of liking establishing the other artillery. I mean, the other Remory just in case, but. I feel like I'm gonna grab the Karina just in case like my prices suck and I'm stuck with this sort of hand. So I'm gonna go G Max Rapid Flow. I'm gonna damage these two. Should I damage the active? No, because that way the damage is spread and then if he wants to Cheryl. Oh, that doesn't die because of the GX attack. Oh my gosh. Ooh, I forgot about the GX attack. Oof, this is actually looking pretty scary now. Oh, I forgot about the damage reduction. Okay. Metal transfer. Okay, this is looking a little scary. Clutch. Wait. So, like, you know this is safe. So, why wouldn't you... Is it safe? It is safe, right? Okay. So... I'm gonna do this. Do I just go after the bronze song? I feel like I should. Like, go boss... Daddy change. I think that's my plan here. Oh, wait. I can get six seconds, actually. Oh, yeah. Six seconds way better. <laughs> Six a good is actually way way better. And then depending on what I get off my prizes, right? I can then decide what else I want to do. Okay, so eliminating the bronze song I think is pretty important. Get under Shifu. Alright, so then my rapid strike search. I mean I could just get this energy, honestly. I'm not doing any damage though to the active. Uh, because it's 30, 40, minus 60. I would, yeah. Now let's do this. Oh, well. Okay, so we got energy. Not horrible, right? And Gale Thrust for zero damage, minus 20, in fact. That's okay, the energy is, like, pretty decent. Because now next turn, I can go after this guy and this guy, right? With the other attack. Well, actually, no, never mind. I should just target these two, probably. Although, the issue is Cheryl, right? The issue are the Cheryls. Well, if I KO this, then all I need is one more prize card, right? Okay, so that I sort of disagree with. That I sort of disagree with, because I can definitely target, right? Definitely KO. That. Okay, so I got the energy immediately, so let me establish another of these guys. Don't need to play as a border this turn. Okay, so I have knockouts. Let me plant this, because I feel like... Okay, after I take these two out... He's down to three cards, and he can't heal anymore, right? And he can't attack even. He can't attack next turn in theory. 
Yeah, I think that's the plan. I think that's always the plan. I should. I already did this ability, never mind. Yeah, I'll just. This guy has the. Yeah, the evolution uh, ability. Alright, so now I do KO the bronzer. <laughs> Take three prizes. Get a switch as well, so I can switch around between these two to start damaging this. Okay, so Air Balloon and Tool Scrapper might be something that this deck needs. It seems to be flowing alright though. Seems to be flowing alright. Okay, so we get Marnie, not the biggest of deals. Not the biggest of deals. Okay, so they do find the switching card. Oh wait, this has free retreat? Oh, this has free retreat, never mind. They were always going to be able to attack. Okay. Right, right, right. They were always going to be able to attack. Okay, I have Bird Keeper. Um, okay, I feel like I go, yeah. How much retreat to retreat? This is not looking great so far though. I need to search for an energy, damage this guy. Okay, so I think the plan is that I get the energy. I need my opponent to whiff Cheryl, right? I don't know how many they play, but I need them to whiff the Cheryl. So I'm gonna reset stamp. And then I'm gonna go G Max Rapid Flow onto these two. Right? That way he can't Cheryl both. He absolutely cannot Cheryl both. So the next turn what I need is switch, which I have two of. Jeez. I need switch. Maybe two switches. Ugh, this is rough. And okay, so I have the guaranteed energy or the VMAX. So he would need boss as well. Okay, so what if I... He would need boss switch to win. Right, he would need boss switch to win. So what if I go boss the look metal, did it change? And see what I get? I think that's the plan. I think that's the plan. I mean, I need, yeah, I need switching cards. I have one switch prize too, that sucks. That really sucks. All right, well, here goes nothing. Oof, didn't get any of the cards I needed. <laughs> Yikes. All right, so then now it comes down to, does he have a way to retreat? Does he have a switch? Malolana probably does, right? They always have it. He didn't do anything last turn. He's not doing it immediately. This might be for a video. Ooh, we see the sad face. I mean, you should, sometimes opponents send that because they feel sorry for me. <laughs> Oof. Okay. Not yet, right? Not yet. Okay, they couldn't retreat though, so that's good. So now I need energy. Now all I need is energy. So I'm gonna send this. I have three energy left and I have 11 cards in my deck. So as long as they are not in the, like, all three energies are in the bottom four cards, we win. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Two energies were in the bottom four cards. 
Oh my gosh. All right, that was that was very intense. Yeah, that was very intense. Um, maybe I didn't get to Cheryl once. I feel like uh, tackling the bronze songs was was an okay play, right? It opened up another win condition on the uh, Corviknight too, and then we had to do that play, right? I I had a chance to win. I didn't get the cards I needed to win, but then my opponent didn't have them either. So not sure what their list looks like. Uh, but that was a good game. Yeah, that was a good game. So. Now will be all for Rushifu VMAX Rapid Strike. I'll be fine tuning this list, trying out other versions, and probably splashing Rapid Strike Rushifu VMAX in other decks. So we'll see how it pans out. Um, thanks so much for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a like, it really helps out the channel, and I will see you in the next one.